Hello guys. So welcome to KO Tutorials. So here I'm coming up with a new tutorial on 3D modeling and exhibition stall over here in 3ds Max. So let's get started. So let's go into file, view image file. So I'll just take a reference over here for the exhibition stall. Let's open a reference over here. Let's start up with a plane over here. So I'll just create a plane. Let's just go over here. Go to the top view. Slightly. I'll take a wall over here. Let's go into AC extended. I'll take a wall, I'll just press S and I'll just snap it. I'll take a wall over here, I'll slightly push it up over here. Let's select this. Let's convert to editable poly. I'll go over here, convert to poly. Select the vertices. I'll slightly shuffle it out. Select this. And I'll put a loop over here. And let's give one connect. I'll assign one connect over here. I'll select this polygons. I'll extrude it out till here slightly slightly over here in this way so once it is done now I'll go over here on to the top over here let's go to the top view and let's take a line I'll take a line over here till here I'll drag this over here in this way <coughs> I'll push it up I'll go into this and I'll put one refine I'll shuffle this a bit up over here in this way select this and this and I can slightly add a bit of fillet to it I can add a bit of fillet to it go into rendering enable in viewport and make it as rectangular I can slightly make it as rectangular over here I'll increase its size again go into the vertices push it in this way over here select the vertices and drag this up Again, I can go over here and I do have a option over here that's called insert. I can use a insert over here if required. So we can go into this. You can slightly use a bit of insert over here make it straight over here in this way <coughs> okay I can just make this as corner over here and I'm just going to use a 
insert over here that's it all right now after that if required i can still make it or increase its width if needed slightly and just push it over here in this way and now again i'll go to the top view and again i will take a line <coughs> again i will take one line till here so let's just push this over here make it a bit straighter so select this line shuffle it till here so once you're done i can activate enable in viewport reduce its width and i can slightly increase its length over here slightly again i'll reduce its length shuffle it in this way put it over here in this way and <coughs> convert to editable poly select the vertices i'll go on to this view and i can push it down so we can slightly push it down over here and we'll keep it till here so again i'll go over here and again i'll put some edges again put some edges so let's select this and let's give some connect <coughs> over here I'll again go over here let's put some connect select the vertices and i'll just slightly scale it push it in this way so select the polygons and slightly extrude it by local normal and i'll slightly shuffle it a bit inside that can be done in this way so let me just save the file once all right so let's go over here again i'll take a box <coughs> let's go to the top view so what i can do is i can slightly shuffle it a bit inside so let's take a box so 
as you can see some kind of design over here we'll just create a box reduce its length and width slightly I'll increase its height over here so drag its height a bit in this way <coughs> and let's create a cylinder I'll activate the auto grid over here so we can just activate the cylinder over here and shift and duplicate it we can just make this copies shift and drag it down over here in this way so if you want I can <coughs> slightly give a bit of chamfer to it so I can just select the edges over here and slightly I can assign a bit of chamfer to it I think we can uh, pull this, you know, this is going to get a pull over here slightly because this has to be extended. This also has to be extended slightly. We can slightly extend this all. Select this push it in this way. Now that looks better. So select this, shuffle it a bit over here, again shift and drag and we'll keep it over here. Alright, so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here. So please like and subscribe my youtube channel if you're not subscribed yet. So we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.